Good morning. Welcome to Slim Chat. It's Tracy. So I hope you're feeling great this morning. I was really, really like lazy and lethargic this morning. I didn't want to get out of bed at all. And to be honest, the stupid thing was I woke up extremely early and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I got up and I was making swatches for my next yarn review over on Crochet Rocks whilst watching an episode of 24, which turned into two episodes of 24 so i spent a couple of hours really well, maybe an hour and a half because you know they're not full hour long so yeah and one of them was what if it was absolutely at the start or if i turned it off and it had a bit left so probably an hour and a half anyway and then gary woke up so i made tea and i went back in there and uh laid down with gary and i just did not want to get up and it was really difficult to motivate myself to actually get moving this morning and it's gloomy out there i think it might have been raining but i haven't ventured outside to even see what it's like but it's the, the heat has gone but the humidity has stayed which is annoying so yesterday i felt quite sticky all day like i hate that you know if it's going to be if it's going to be sticky, it can at least be sunny. That's just so out of order that you can get gloomy humidity. But um, just checking out what that noise is. Is that the sound of Gary doing breakfast? I really hope it is because I feel a bit peckish now. And um, I haven't really had <clears throat> as much appetite as I used to have. I find that after my dinner now i am so stuffed but yesterday we had gary's soup because he makes chicken noodle soup and it's amazing one of these days we may even do a recipe for it but you know no try but it's one that was passed down from his mum to him and he's passed it to his daughter and now she makes it slightly different and jamie makes it to his son so they all kind of like put their own little stamp on it but it's something that was his mum's so you never know we might do it and um, anyway, we had that and then I could have just called that it, you know, but he'd made pork and poussons. So we thought oh, we must have to eat something. And I said to Gary's when he said, well, should we just leave dinner? Then I went, well, pretty soon I'm not going to be able to eat lumps. So I might as well make the most of it now and eat a few lumps. So afterwards, I just felt so stuffed and uncomfortable all evening. And Gary was so uncomfortable and restless, he went to bed. Uh, I tried to stay up a bit longer because I didn't want to lay down uh, so close to having eaten. Although it wasn't really that close. We watched a couple of episodes of Band of Brothers, so it wasn't really that close. We, lay, we sat down for a while, but it just wasn't going anywhere. And So I had some Gaviscon in the end and just crashed out, but not not the not the most comfortable evening. So I want to show you my little pen. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? I love this pen. You know, with that kind of oil slick rainbow effect. Brilliant, these pens. Get them in the works and places like that. Got a few. This is another one, very similar, but where instead of having it, it's got a jewel. But yeah, I've got two very similar. I used to have a collection of really snazzy pens. I don't know where the others are. This used to be my work bag. I've got um, a pencil case that I used to have in my work bag when I was area manager. So maybe they're all in there. But I do I do like a pen. I'm a bit of a sucker for stationery. I don't mean for standing still. Though that's <laughs> I made a heart form of that. So, I mean, you know, like stationery. I used to like steal all the stationery at work. I was that person that, you know, when you go to the stationery cupboard, it'd all be missing and it would be there in my bag, you know, thieving the stationery. I couldn't help it. I've got this thing about books. So, I mean, I've got these, you know, I've got three of these. One would do, but no, I had to get one for Word of the Day, one for Movie Quote of the Day, and one for Joke of the Day, because over on Crochet Rocks we do Word of the Day and Joke of the Day. So I have three of these, look. But these are just like basic books, really. But I do like a book. Look, this one. Bought the other week. Nothing whatsoever written in it yet. I'm going to put... And I've got about 50 of these with different patterns in. I like the fact that it's got Union Jack on the back. It's kind of cool. But I'm a sucker for books. And pens. Books and pens. All kinds of stationery, you know. 
it's not safe around me. Seriously, it's not safe around me. And every time I go anywhere near Paper Chase, oh, it's, a, it's always an expensive trip. This is like, oh, look, they've got cards. Oh, look, they've got books. Oh, look, these pens. Key rings, you know. Mm. Need to stay clear. I do I need to stay clear of stationery shops. So bad. So, movie quote of the day then. Yesterday was five, four, three, two, one, go. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Was indeed the Italian job. And Michael Caine and Linda Fairbrother Jane and Margaret Webby got that. So well done, guys. So this one, oh, it's a cult following movie. And it's one, it's Mike's favourite when he was a child. I say child, a, a teenager. More human than human is our motto. And it's not Rob Zombie. Because, you know, more human than human. More human than human is our motto. Obviously, uh, there's no real voice for that one. But who is it? Who is it? What movie is it? It's um, a cult movie. They made a remake. That's not the remake. That's the original. So, yeah. Bit tough, that one. Bit tough. So, shall I do an easy little one on, to have on the side? A little easy one on the side. An easy one on the side. Okay. So that yeah, there can be more one one guess. That is a hard one, I have to say. Cult following movie, but difficult. Um, I'm trying to find a little easy one. Hmm. Was... Mama always said, dying was part of life. Sure wish it wasn't. <laughs> That's the easy one. That's the easy one, guys. You can do both. For extra kudos... I like that word. Kudos. Kudos. So, yeah, it's party today. Party, party, party. But um, I know Gemma was going to do, like, barbecue-y type burgers and sausages. Well, I don't know if I can eat them. So I'll have to just eat cake, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for me. But, you know, it depends. Um, I might try it. I did try a burger about a week ago, was it, when... Mike and I went to the seaside and he ended up eating my burger for me because I just couldn't, I, I took a mouthful and it was, no, <laughs> still horrible. But, you know, some things were horrible, like pork. Yesterday I had some pork and it was nice. So certain things have got better. It wasn't right, it wasn't perfect how it used to taste, but it was a lot better. So yeah, certain things have got better, but not everything. And things that were good sometimes are not now like chicken not always good so yeah it's weird really breast seems to be better than leg so i've got a feeling it's the fat content that's doing it to me maybe don't know it is just very strange so um yeah party food but we have got some stuff for when we get home you know, like a proper proper meal we've got our poos on still still got pork because it was a joint of pork and um I wanted to have some mashed potato today, so we've got to buy some. Anyway, I'm going to upload this now, get off, and um, so I have to get ready to go to the shop and get a few bits before we go round to see the birthday boy. So thanks for watching, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.